Hey guys, it is Duke, and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Mini Biomes. Hope you guys are having a tremendous day. I know I am for the most part, and I'm glad to be back for another episode. So, how are you guys doing? Always have to ask multiple times in every opening, um, because it's, it's, you know, it's really important to me to know that. Uh, I don't think we need any more of these bad boys, so we can throw those back in there. Um, I do need a little bit more iron though because we need some more shears because today Today we're going back out to the lumber mill Because if you guys don't recall from last episode we had constructed the lumber mill. However We didn't really do a whole lot. We built it and um, Sort of left the rest and there's a lot more work that needs to be done. We need to landscape it We need to make it seem like an okay Living area like right now. It's just not uh, so hopefully we can get that changed soon. I am liking this though. I like that. Every time I come by and you can see out there. Ooh, such a cool feeling. Alright, so we're going to take down a few of these trees right here. And I don't know how many I'm going to need. Okay, we're going to say from that tree over, we're just going to go to town with shears. Because honestly, I need these leaves very much so for landscaping. It's so important to have these kind of leaves. And we really only have a stockpile on oak leaves. So we're going to do this. And while I'm doing this... Um, I have a few things to talk about. First of all, huh, so today, earlier today, not the day that you're seeing this video, but today in real life, um, the FCC, and I'm sure you guys immediately know where I'm going with this, the Federal Communications Commission voted to repeal. Um, I guess it's really a, re a repeal vote, correct? That's, uh, well, anyways, it's a vote to get rid of net neutrality, and you guys should know what that is at this point. Um, it's been a huge thing, uh, for quite some time now. Uh, a lot of people have been trying to allow people to understand, you know, get people educated on what net neutrality really is and what it means to us users of the internet, because anyone here, uh, uses the internet. I mean, that's how you're watching this YouTube video right now, uh, and I'm sure a lot of you use it every day of the year, every day of the week, for multiple hours each and every day. I know I do. I'm constantly on the internet. Um, nothing wrong with that. It's just how I choose to live my life. A lot of my interests have to do with using the internet. Um, and like I said, you guys should know what that is at this point. Uh, but for those who don't, it basically... Net neutrality allows everybody to use the same websites at the same speed, no matter what. So, you get on YouTube, and you're going to have the same access speed to it as you would, say, a Twitter or something. You know, it doesn't change from website to website. But, however, um, with this vote, um, to repeal it, we would lose that ability, and... Internet search providers, ISPs, could, if they so desired, decide, hey, I'm going to charge you a little bit more to use this website. Um, and if you don't, I'm still going to let you use it, but at a very slow rate. So you're going to need to pay for it because you're going to see how just terrible it is um, to get on Twitter with a download and upload speed about 30 times slower than than what you currently have it's gonna be it's gonna be a completely horrible experience basically and that's why net neutrality means so much now it really really only affects americans f firsthand so it's, it's it's our government who's going to be voting on this and if you guys don't know yet it hasn't gone full into effect yes the FCC did vote uh, three to two to repeal it but it still has to go through Congress and Congress is what really will make it official if they so desire uh, to come on through and support the repeal uh, very sad day if they so desire to do so and we can really only hope really only just uh, think about how terrible it's going to be without it. Because um, there's nothing we can really do at this point. We've elected these officials to do our work um, and make our decisions, and that's what a whole representative democracy is. For those who don't know, um, yes, we may not get first-hand uh, voting. We might not be able to be the ones who are like, hey, um, I don't want this, so I'm going to vote no on it. 
Instead, we voted for the select group of individuals to decide, hey, we want this or not. So it's completely out of our hands once we decided to elect certain people into office. And that's basically, huh. You know, even at the time, it might have seemed like a good idea to elect a certain person. And for those under 18 who don't have uh, ability to go ahead and vote, um, it's, it's, it's really come down to the people who are of age to be able to vote, uh, whether they allowed certain people into a position such as Congress, your state senators, your state reps, you know, the real important lawmaking body of the U.S., the United States Congress is going to get to choose this so oh we can only hope that they're gonna they're gonna say you know what nah now nah, we're gonna we're gonna keep net neutrality because if they do which they might not and there's a d decent percent chance they won't um, but if they do support net neutrality uh, everything could be very okay you know we'll be okay um, I don't know Maybe I'm not the right person to be talking about this, but I just wanted to bring it to attention for those who don't know what's going on. I mean, first and foremost, I don't know how you wouldn't at this point, because it's just such a it's such a huge thing. Um, but I understand if something went right over that people's heads. Um, but for those non-Americans, how will this affect you? Well, you see, it could affect you in the fact that uh, I saw this Reddit post on uh, me R I L earlier which normally you know it's, it's a very sarcastic subreddit uh, a post about it's gonna affect uh, Europeans for the fact that um, all your favorite posters aren't gonna be able to use the internet as well as they could um, a lot of that's just a joke um, but you know maybe there is a slight bit of truth in that statement it sounds ridiculous I think it's more of a paradox you, you read that and you're like no like like okay I, I don't care, like it doesn't really affect me, but there might be a small little bit of something there. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I'm talking about this too much. Um, but all I'm going to say is, hey, text your senator. There's numbers out there um, that are available to us and try to get a hold of them. Write them a letter. Do whatever you need to do so that when it gets to be voted on by Congress, it is not repealed and net neutrality will be saved because for all your content creators and all those people you admire so much on YouTube and other social media sites and even outside of that, you know, this doesn't just affect social media, it'll affect pretty much every website. Um, you guys just need to know how important this really is. So I hope, I hope you guys do for those who truly care and those who have the ability to... Um, get a hold of a senator or a state rep um, but without further ado guys we are a minecraft channel we are not here to go super political into things normally i would not um i would stay far far away from politics because politics throughout the world not just america uh people people are mm, very partisan so I, w I would definitely get people who would get be upset no matter what i said about any topic and that's just how it is um, hopefully my views reflect a lot of, uh, viewers views. I, I'd say they do, but you know, I don't know. <laughs> I don't, I don't really know, but you know, guys, we just gotta come back to Minecraft because that's what we're here for. We're here for videos, Minecraft, PUBG, doesn't matter what it is. As long as it's, is it as long as it's me, you know, that's, uh, I don't know, but here we are back out, out here. Uh, at our lovely new build and I want to start throwing up some bushes around here I want to kind of limit this area I want to kind of block off it from the outside world so we're just gonna you know throw up a few little little bushes little bits of stuff um, we might not go full-on walls or anything like that um, but just a little something that's like hey this is the end uh, of where I'm currently building and we can always expand but hopefully it'll it might not keep the mobs out in fact I know it won't because there's ways that are gonna be able to go around but it'll at least feel a little bit better and that's only the areas we're gonna need to light up and stuff like that so also we're gonna need to work on that uh, mm, no big deal 
But see, that looks nice. You know, it's not a it's not a huge deal, but it looks nice, and it's it's better than it was. So we'll just throw up a little bit more right here. You know, just block it off a little bit more. Maybe some over here. Let's get some bushes. Get some nice bushes. Uh, this is actually kind of a cool. Is that are those on the same level? No, they're not. Ooh, this could be cool. What if we did? It might be kind of pointless, but it'll might have a cool little look. Let's break these away. I don't know. Kind of like it. Let's get that out there. Okay, let's just take a step back for a second. Yeah, I kind of like the idea of having a little waterfall right there. It's kind of cool. I like how this sticks out and over. Oh, jeez. It looks kind of weird. Just off the bat, you'd see it and you'd be like, that looks a little out of place. But once you realize how <laughs> how many different like boulder shapes there are around here, it kind of would make sense. Maybe water were away underneath, but it sort of stayed because this cluster of rock was a little bit denser or harder or something, you know? Uh, so it wouldn't wear away as easy. I don't know. It's kind of a cool idea. Alright, so we're going to come on through here and place some more. And... Put some in front. Maybe some in the water. Not a bad idea. It's kind of cool. I don't know. I feel like Hutchie. Do you guys remember Hutchie? Back when I played Afterlife, uh, he did leave the server at one point. Um, but in the time that we had to play with him, I always enjoyed it. Uh, we'll put some up against the building right here. I feel like that's an okay idea. Um, but he used to put leaves everywhere, and he made them look good, which was amazing, because you'd think eventually you'd have too many, but I don't know. He always found a way. And I'm getting a phone call, so I'll be right back. Alrighty, guys, so I've gone ahead and done a decent job of surrounding this. Uh, as you can see, we have it all the way up here. It stops. There's a break where the waterfall is, which I think is okay. Uh, this is where we're going to have the entrance and exit right here, so we'll make sure to figure that out. And then I brought it up all the way around here. Uh, I left it open where these are because these act as natural barriers already. Um, covered this front side. Uh, just right there and right there because it sort of fit better and it looked kind of odd when there's still a break there. Uh, and then it comes up around here. So not a huge area to work with, um, but it definitely feels a little bit better now. And I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this tree. I wanted to keep the tree. Uh, I felt like it would be somewhat fitting for the area to have trees just sort of grown up through here, but it really sort of got in the way. So we're going to get rid of it. I feel like that's best case scenario, best option so I'm just gonna cut this down real quick oh, 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 oh. there we go and break okay yeah that feels a little bit better cuz now you come on in and you just see this immediately you don't see anything else uh, so we're gonna work on a lighting now probably the biggest thing we want to do but I'm also gonna go back um, I don't know do we want to use glowstone or something Ooh, I don't know. I'm really kind of confused what I want to do with this. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and we're going to grab some torches just for the time being. We're going to grab something else important. What is it? I was literally about to say it and then I got sidetracked. Uh, cannot think of it, but I'm just going to sort of look a look at what we need. Uh, and hopefully I can figure that out fairly easy. I'm going to go sleep real quick, though. And I'll be back with you guys. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. That's what I needed. Okay, I was headed back on over um, with my new stuff that I need. And then I recalled... There we go. That should be enough. Boom. Beautiful. And if you guys saw in my inventory... You don't have to go rerun the video if you don't care. Um, but... Hopefully, a block that will be very helpful for us. Uh, and I think it'll fit the theme well enough. Uh, should work okay. Hope so. Uh, but we're going to we're gonna try it. We're going to try a few things. Also, I'm considering building a little shack. Just for the hell of it. Just for the heck of it. Dang it, I... Oh, <laughs> uh, I tried to keep this channel PG and then... <laughs> 
Whoopsies. It's a good thing I didn't say anything too bad because hopefully everybody can let that slide. I didn't say anything. Alrighty, so I'm thinking, okay, uh, back here and stuff, we need this. Forgot we can't put any on the podzol. There are spots, though. Beautiful. A lot better. Makes it feel, makes us feel more at home, you know? Okay. And let's jump on out over here. Boop. Okay. Okay. Alright, so here's what we're going to try to do. Let's just put it down so we don't have to hold it any longer. Uh, yeah. Okay. This is on the outside, so we should probably try to stay on the inside of our area, because this is where I want it to look the best. Um, it's already looking pretty good, but there's always more stuff we can do. Okay. So what I'm going to do... Okay. Alright, so right here. Yeah, this we could make this work. I'll come back for that in a second. I want to work on the lighting right now. And I'm thinking... I'm thinking we shouldn't have to do too much. Nothing too crazy. It's not terrible. It's not the greatest design I've ever seen, but it's the worst either. Um kind of like it we could try that what about something right here but we do dark oak wood stairs at the bottom maybe we can try this let's see give me some dark oak oh hello forgot that was under there boom 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 put you at the bottom Um, what if we just tried these on this top side? Because I feel like that would look a little better. Put dark oak up rather than on the bottom. I feel like on the bottom it just won't look good at all. So we'll try that. And then down here we'll come back with cobblestone. I feel like cobblestone fits the best. And then we make the base this color. Um, I like the simplicity of this. You know, what if we keep it like that? Okay, that's fine. We can rock and roll with this. Here, give me that back. Actually, I want that on top. I'll take this on the side. Okay. And then we top it the normal way. The little slab up there. But, we come through to one of these bad boys. can't tell if I like that or not. Yeah, my inventory's full. Let me just throw these down off the back side right here real quick. Really don't know if I like this or not. We'll test it. Oh, jeez, nice one. Okay, um, what if we did a piece? No, 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 no. But, hold on. What if we reversed this somehow? I'm really trying a whole lot of different stuff right here. I don't know if any of it's going to actually work out. Oh, nope, nope, nope. Oh, that doesn't power it. 
Yeah, that's not going to power it, will it? I don't think putting a black here affects anything. No, it doesn't. Okay, um... We could... Could... Mm, we're gonna need some more redstone. I don't know, I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so I've come up with a little bit of a design, and what? before I stepped away real quick... Uh, I went on over to look for something, and I found out what I was looking for. And that was a block of redstone to put on top of here. That way, I can actually activate this. And I think it turned out okay. Um, simple design. I built four of these, I believe. I don't think there's one tucked back here. No, just those. Um, I think it works okay. We can get rid of the torches. If something spawns a well, uh, we'll just try to defend ourselves from it. Um... And I do want to build a house, but we're not going to have time for that today. I think we might actually put it down here or something. So, like, this will be the lumber mill area. Um, hold on, how can I somehow... I want to get the bushes in here somewhere. Because, like, they, they look good at, at certain points. I like how this is in the foreground on the right, and then, ooh. There's some, there's some good views here, I think, to be had. Maybe step up one. Slide over here a little bit. Maybe that's too bright. Bring it down right there. I don't know. I don't know. I like taking pictures of these things. It's fun and it's easy. Um, but yeah. Uh, I think it turned out alright. Uh, very simple lighting design. We kind, kind of went a little bit crazy. But I tried to include as much as this build into these. So we have the buttons which are important. We have uh, trap doors, which aren't really important, but I added it in anyways for the heck of it, <laughs> I guess. Um, I just thought it kind of kind of was a cool concept to have that, and I'm realizing I need more buttons up here, so we can just jump and do these real quick. Uh-huh. Boop. And... Boop. And nope, that's not right. Um, but hopefully, actually, we might need to do some new screenshots. Eh. I don't know if you guys will even notice a few buttons. It's not going to be the end of the world. Uh, but I guess we could try to squeeze in a few more screen sh screen schwats. screenshots just right on over here. So we'll come up here. Boom, boom. You're capped off on this side. And boom, boom. And I'm realizing this is going to take us into three episodes. But today's episode, I had to talk about net neutrality at the beginning a little bit. Um... And I ran a lot shorter on time than I thought I did, but we have a kind of a cool concept. We've got all of this sort of surrounded now. We have some lighting. Uh, it's a better area. So, in the next episode, I know exactly what I'm doing. I'm going to start off by building some sort of water mill here. And that is going to be how this is powered. Because nobody's brought this up yet, but there's no way for this to be powered yet. So, we're going to bring this out. Uh, we're going to have something that turns here. And that is being turned by a water here. So it kind of sucks that this isn't over here. Um, but I think we can still make this work. We'll just have to have sort of a second turnstile sort of thing. Uh, I think it'll be okay though. And we'll build a little hut down here. Should be pretty cool. And this will sort of be like the lumberjack's house. And he'll come up here. Or she. Could be a she. Can come up here and do their work whenever they need to. But this is a nice, cleared little area, and I think it'll work out absolutely fantastic. We can make some sort of th something over to here, and maybe we'll throw down a bridge about here. It's a good point, uh, and I think it could go through this rock or something. It, it could be cool. Uh, I feel like we'll be able to find something. But for now, guys, I'm going to go ahead, grab a comment of the day, and be right back with you. Alrighty guys, so today's comment of the day from episode number 22 now being featured on episode 23 comes from a user by the name of mm. <laughs> I honestly, okay, I feel kind of bad about this. It's a great comment and that's why I used it. But man, I really don't know how to pronounce your name. I feel bad, but we're just going to call you Z. It's from Z. 
So everybody look at this guy's name so he still gets the publicity that everybody else gets. But I do not know how to pronounce that. And I don't want to take a shot at it because I know I'll screw it up so much. Uh, but here's what he said. He said, uh, you should put a path to the river so that the lumberjacks could drag the trunks from the river like they did in the 1800s. You could also do some floating trunks on the river. So he's basically saying from our lumber mill down to the river at some point have a pathway. So, theoretically, a lumberjack could take what they just chopped up and bring it on down. I think that's a tremendous idea. So, we'll definitely get a path in there very, very soon. Um, also, don't know where I'm going to have. I might have a little bit of a port somewhere just so you can consider the fact that, hey, they're going to be making this, but they also got to take it somewhere. Uh, and it would be easy to travel by water. So, we might consider that. Um, and then also having some floating trunks, that could be a cool idea. We could put some like lily pads around them, um, you know, just to sort of beautify the river area because the t mega tiger does a tremendous job on looking good, uh, especially with the shaders, but I feel like lakes and stuff just kind of get boring after a while and we could definitely do something about that. So I will very much so consider it. Uh, but for now, guys, we have to wrap up today's episode. It is very late. It's nearly midnight. Uh, Got to get up early tomorrow. So without further ado, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Uh, <laughs> this has been Duke. If you liked today's video, please be sure to leave a like, comment down below. Like to see you next. And if you're new to the channel or the series, be sure to subscribe. This has been Duke. I will see you next time. Hope you guys have a tremendous day. Bye-bye.